drop a like in the next five seconds if you want to get the Deadpool mashup skins for free. I just finished a massive gifting spree. I sent a ton of my subscribers the new Deadpool item shop rewards. From now on, I'll be showing you all the gifts that I sent. Now, if you also want to have a chance of getting a free gift from me, then all you have to do is first of all, subscribe to my channel from there, drop a like on this video and also make sure to leave a comment down below telling me your Epic Games username. This way, I can add you. But with all that being said, let's begin with today's video. Welcome back to the channel, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day so far and in this video I'll be showing you how to complete the Deadpool challenges for week 9 in Fortnite Battle Royale. I pretty much have all the leaks, information and much more. Now real quick, we're so close to 3.7 million subscribers. So if you hit the subscribe button right now, you can be my 3,700,000 subscriber. And also a huge shout out to everyone who is using Code Shuffle Game in the item shop. If you do use the code, be sure to let me know down below in the comment section by saying I used your code and I will give your comment a heart. Thanks to Epic Games for allowing me in their program. Now, with all that said, let's actually start with the video. Yesterday, we received another Deadpool update. First of all, we received a brand new item shop, giving us a bunch of Deadpool themed cosmetics. The Deadpool items from last week have returned and it even gave us two brand new items. The Ravenpool skin as well as the cuddle pool skin and to save yourself 1000 v bucks you can get both skins for just 2000 v bucks here is what it looks like when buying the dapple mashups bundle last week there was even this animation of dapple himself changing the item shop here it is in case you haven't seen it yet <laughs> There, we received the week 8 challenges for Deadpool and with that his hideout with an HQ changed once more. Here is what it looks like and as you can see his room is now flooded. And because of a glitch we are actually able to see what his hideout is going to look like for week 9. In week 9 his hideout is going to look like this and as you can see his room is now fully flooded. And you can still find him playing Fortnite but now underwater while wearing snorkeling gear. Now how did this happen? Well in week 6 the pipe was burst and we were shown how Deadpool was trying to fix the leak. And in week 7 we could clearly see how the toilet was overflowing. And in week 8 we were shown how the hideout was already partly flooded with the pipes still leaking drops of water. So in week 9 the pipes are not going to last any longer and they're all going to burst and the full room will then be flooded. Now the main question everyone has been asking is will there be week 9 Deadpool challenges? And the answer to that question is yes, there are going to be week 9 Deadpool challenges. After you complete the week 8 challenges and you go over to the computer in Deadpool's room and you scroll all the way down, you can see this section right here. And as you can see, it reads week 9. And that pretty much confirms we are getting week 9 challenges for Deadpool on Friday the 17th of April. And next week Tuesday when we receive the V12.40 patch update, the week 9 challenges as well as the reward will be leaked. When going over to the battle pass, it reads chapter 2 season 2 through April the 30th. So it is possible we are even getting a week 10 too. In the files, it is said that the Deadpool challenges will end on May the 15th. So, there is a possibility that the season is going to get extended with two weeks. But then on the bright side, that also means even more Deadpool rewards. Now, when going over to the main lobby, you can find yourself this tab right over here. It reads Event, as well as Deadpool Challenges. Now, right below this, it gives you your uncompleted Deadpool challenges. And here comes the interesting part. There's this one particular challenge that reads Redacted. Now, what does this mean? It is believed that this little Redacted challenge will be a bonus challenge for week 9 but we shall see very soon. Now, like I said, this week we unlocked two new challenges, them being find Deadpool's pool floaty as well as dance at Deadpool's yacht party. To complete, the first challenge, head over to the agent section with an HQ and from there, click on Sky's room. Once you're there, you will find the pool floaty right over here. And after collecting it, you can complete the second challenge, being dance at Deadpool's yacht party. 
to dance at the yacht party, make your way over to the dance floor with the golden statue in the middle and perform any of your emotes. And from there, you will unlock the week 8 reward, which is the mask off style for Deadpool. This is what it looks like when unlocking the mask off style for Deadpool. And here is what the edit style looks like in your locker. As you can see, it looks pretty cool, just like from the movies. Now, moving on, there are still a ton of other items which you can unlock for completely free. The first one being a free rap. Fortnite collaborated with an app called House Party. With this app, you can play all sorts of games with your friends, including a Fortnite trivia game, where you have to get as many correct answers as possible. And as soon as we, as a community, get 20 million correct answers, we will all get a free rap. So, even if you didn't install the app at all. The rap everyone is going to unlock for free is called the Fry Angles Rap. And this is what the rap is going to look like on your weapons and on your vehicles. The challenge ends next week Thursday on April the 16th. So, next week Friday, a day later, or maybe a couple days later, we can all expect to receive this free rap. From there, for those who play Arena, if you reach Champion Division, you will unlock this big axe for completely free. It is called the Axe of Champions, and it's from Epic Rarity. It reads, current FNCS Champion Exclusive. Anyways, it's a cool harvesting tool, and it's free, so why not? And then, if you own the Battle Pass, there's actually a secret item. Very soon, we're going to unlock secret challenges for Agent Peely. They are called the Agent Peely's Spy License Challenges. And this is what they're going to look like. And as you can see, there will only be a couple of simple challenges. Them being, turn the steam valves in Brutus's room. Destroy the machine in Tientina's room. Knock the cat toy of Meow School's scratching post and an unknown challenge, most likely within Midas's room. And for completing these simple challenges, you will unlock this banana badge emoticon for completely free. From there, we received a brand new LTM called Now Playing. This LTM is part of a brand new collaboration. Over at Risky Reels, you can now watch the premiere of Punk. A new show hosted by Chance the Rapper. Every hour you will now be able to view it. But hurry because it will only last for about a day. From there, if you need help with completing any of your remaining Deadpool challenges, here is a guide on how to complete all of them. Now, in week 1, we received the first two challenges. Them being, find Deadpool's letter to Epic Games. And don't thank the bus driver. And for completing these challenges, you will unlock this Deadpool banner icon. In week 2, we receive the challenge, find Deadpool's milk carton, and find Deadpool's chimichangas around HQ. When completing both of them, it will give you this uncommon spray right here. It is called the Ride to Corn Spray, and this is what it looks like. Then, in week 3, we receive the challenge, find Deadpool's toilet plunger, and destroy toilets. And this time, for completing them, it will give you the uncommon spray named Wade Grenade. And here is what it looks like. In week 4, we receive the challenges, find Deadpool's Katanas, as well as deal damage to opponent structures. And after completing these two simple challenges, it will give you one of the coolest rewards that we've ever gotten. The Deadpool's Katanas Backblade. This is what they look like. Moving on to week 5, it gave us the challenges, find Deadpool's stuffed unicorn, as well as visit the red, yellow, green, blue, and purple steel bridges. And after completing this challenge, it gave us the Cuddle Time Coop loading screen, which looks like this. From there, in week 6, we unlock the challenges, find Deadpool's big black marker, and deface Ghost or Shadow recruitment posters. And after completing these two simple challenges, we will unlock the Merc Wrap, which is pretty much a Deadpool themed wrap which looks like this. And then for week 7, we unlock the challenges, find Deadpool's two pistols, as well as enter a phone booth or part a party to become the super rest of superheroes. 
and after completing this challenge, you will unlock the Dapple skin. Here is what it looks like when unlocking the Dapple outfit. From there, we have a few unreleased skins as well as emotes. I will go ahead and play some gameplay of everything right now. Enjoy!